Hi everyone, I'm Cinder89. Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. Okay, after looking up Mayhem, what people are saying is that it does also count for the grenades and rockets. So you can either have an additional rocket or a little more damage out of all your area of effect stuff. Uh, based on weapon tech, it worked how I thought it was going to work. If you have LMG, your standard ballistic, you get plus one damage. If you have laser technology, you have plus two damage. And if you have uh, plasma technology, it's plus three damage. So there's all of that. So, in that case, we are going to take Mayhem. I just feel you'll get more out of it than just an additional rocket, unless you really like to use rockets. But between the grenades and the shredder rocket, and you already have a rocket, I don't know. I would have liked to see Rocketeer be a little more. Anyway. There's all of that. Now. Let's continue on scanning for activity. Uh, incoming council communication. Of course, because we really can't get anywhere. From the council. What? Councilman, the surviving Exalt operative has provided additional intel on the location of our missing transport vehicle, and not a moment too soon. It appears the aliens have cornered the truck on a dam in eastern France. If we're going to recover the cargo, we need to act fast. Oh, that Exalt operative that we captured way far back ago apparently has some information. had some information for us great Th that only took a couple of months 100 credits whatever Excellent. we look forward to seeing your progress um can't really capture anybody as much as I like the double shot and everything Oh, hell if I know. Um, sure. Well, until I have the, the plasma rifle ready, let's take... Um, yeah, why not? We'll take Good Dreams, Halo Man, Sophia, Conktran, uh, Machine Gunner, and Williams... Sure, why not? Um, and launch mission. I'm really annoyed with all these missions back to back to back happening. Which can't happen at XCOM, you know. You, you may have this. We have visual on the mission. Uh, you could have down. this happen anytime. It's just that it doesn't happen anytime during the LP, except now when I didn't want it to happen. France is sending an urgent mission request. Secure the dam by any means necessary. Locate and secure the convoy and its contents. Sure. Six like turns remaining. The came under attack while attempting to cross that dam. Judging from the damage, the aliens must have strafed the entire area trying to slow the truck down. If they want this thing that badly, there's no telling what else they might send in to try and retrieve it. That dam is in bad shape, though. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to secure the truck before they do. Okay. Six turns remaining. Uh, open the bypass valves to delay the dam's collapse. Locate the transport vehicle carrying the hijacked weapon. Okay. Well, it looks like a pretty straight shot. We go this way. 
Heading to that location. Looks like this is one of those bypass valves. Yes, sir. What do you see? The dam has already taken heavy damage. But it looks like we can delay the collapse if we open the bypass valves positioned along the way to the transport. Oh, that seems like a really good idea. Let's see. We'll have good dreams head to this one. Thanks to the fast Already movement. There. I don't know if Williams can interact with these, to be honest. Order We're gonna find out. She's the other unit with really high movement. Machine gunner. Come on. Yes, sir. Sophia and Halo Man dash Halo Man. Got it. Up here. And Sophia over this On way. The Commander, we've got hostile aircraft moving in the vicinity of Strike One's position. Looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements to go after the truck. Hi! Thanks for just showing up. Didn't expect that to happen, honestly. Oh, great, they're going to Overwatch, which is annoying. That valve is running wide open, but we still need to secure the truck before it's too late. Yeah, I can see that. Where's Halo Man? Let's see if we can kill this Muton. Have we captured a Muton? I can't remember. That's the problem. I wish it'd tell me if I've captured them or not. Like, I know if I've autopsied them, of course, because you can see the abilities, but... Oh, I don't want to fire with you because I want you to go up and turn the valve. Oh, 52, really? Alright. Yeah. Damn it. This <sighs> Whatever, I'm not in the mood. Call it ass. Oh, I forgot to click run and gun. Good job, me. Of course. Yeah, one misses, one hits. Of course. Just whatever. Die miserably. Seven critical. Not quite enough. Heading there now. I'm just punching you. You're dead. Approaching to engage. Headed there now. There's Sophia. We'll move up here. You're dead. There's another valve up there. Solid so that's good. We're going to move you up. There's some more like aliens. The aliens are sending in reinforcements, Commander. Of course they are. Let me guess. More muton. Oh no. Sectoid. Okay. I But they're going to go into Overwatch, which is extremely annoying. Because that just takes time. Oh, hi! Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, yay! Fantastic. Again, that's why I don't like hiding behind cars. Alright, get up here. Aye, aye, Commander. Ooh. 
Really? At least they missed. That bypass valve is open, but we're not done yet. Keep moving, strike one. I can shoot you. Take five. Where's Williams? Can you reach him? No, of course not, because he because diagonal doesn't count. Okay. Everybody's got Overwatch too. That's the fun part. Of course, you can't throw it that far. Alright. Heading there. Whatever. Now. Whoever hasn't fired their reaction shot, go ahead and take it. Oh, you sectoids. X-ray spotted. Oh yay, thin men. Fantastic. Armor has not been penetrated. Okay, you stupid mechdoid. Gunner up. Because of cover, of course. Whatever. Yes, I know it's going to confirm. Yes, I know there's friendly fire. I'll deal with all the damage later. Heading to that location. Congratulations, you're dead. Get out of my way. Now. Who all can you see? Can you see the thin... Oh, yeah. One. Yes, I know. It's fine. Double tap. Two. Let's see, where can I move you? To nowhere I really want to, that's the problem here. Move it out. Again, didn't activate run and gun. <sighs> Prepare two health, yay. By all means, please move. This is why I like being able to heal 10 with med kits. Okay, where's Good Dreams? Dashi all the way out here. Okay, Williams. Die. You die. Time to motor. Seven turns remaining. Um. Okay. That'll buy you some time to get to the truck. Move 
teams I'm up. Okay, don't see anybody. Overwatch. Same thing. Hostiles are inbound, Commander. Well, that's fine. You cut. You come inbound this time. Drop something to get shot at. Good. Shoot the mechdoid. That should count. Well, no, oh, this guy. You wouldn't. You don't shoot. Or is it shooting the mechdoid now? A little bit of lag there, game. Thanks. Targeting system readjusting. Um. Okay. What needs to happen Moving. is. Yes, take your reaction shot. Oh, of course you hit. Stupid little sectoid. Oh, and then the mechtoid, of course. I'm taking fire. Oh, really? And it's gonna explode. Fantastic. Here's what we're gonna do then. Heal? There's the mechtoid. Okay. First thing is, you're dead. Moving to position. I'm just punching you, you stupid. There, go away. Okay. You need to move, so we're gonna run and gun. Firing position. All the way up here. Lightning reflexes. Sorry about you. Kill the sectoid. I'm on the move. Yes, we're gonna move up. Fire on the other sectoid. Good. Moving out. Sophia up. Reload. Reloading weapons. And we're gonna move Comtran up here. Moving out. to health. I don't know how much is left in the servos. You're gonna take eight, unfortunately. Oh, oh, good. It, it, there it is. Six. Sorry, thought it was eight. Machine gun. We're gonna dash you over here. Good dreams. Move up here. Gonna heal yourself for ten. Isn't it nice to heal for ten? <laughs> okay, let's need a place with cover. Already there. that works. Need some type of cover so we can still. There we go. Now we know where they are. On my way. Let's get started. Yes, now moving to cover. So you get to do that, even though we knew you were there. Whatever. You deserve to die. <sighs> now... Has been neutralized. Running gun's not Step up, so we're just gonna move up here. Ooh. 
Williams. Position confirmed. Forward. You saw him there for a little bit, and then now you can't see him anymore. Overwatch. Your turn. Oh, please hit him. No, of course not. Shot failed to connect. I hope that car explodes and goes. Oh no, it's already been been hit. I'm taking fire. Oh, it's already blown up. Okay. Heading to that location. Pressure on the dam is dropping. Keep it up. Okay. Good dreams. See, there's that valve up there we need to go get. Stepping off. Moving. Guess he sensed you or something. Whatever, he's dead. Away. Yeah, we'll go have Halo Man turn the valve. And then uh, Run and Gun will be back up. He can run and gun somewhere if he needs to fire. That's affirmative. Williams up. That looks like our target. There we go. Get over there and extract the weapon before that whole place goes down. Sure. Objective updated. I'm on the move. I don't see any more aliens. I'm sure some will come down, but. Okay, let's really move Sophia as go. well. Approaching the area. Of course we do. Hi, Muton. And they all get to go into Overwatch. Well, I wish I could do that. I wish I could just launch my. Uh, ha! He got poisoned. You know, just just fall someplace and then just immediately get over. Jeez. Uh. Whatever. I'm on it, Commander. Take your reaction shots. Three. Wow, you hit. Enemy fire on my position. Enemy fire. They missed. And the aliens mysteriously disappear. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have to go back out. So we, we see we. Cleared out all the enemies and then moved on. Yes, yes, I could have killed the aliens for more weapon fragments. Or something. Oh no. Hi? No, stop moving. Please. Oh, the aliens are still there. You, you don't understand. I have to get to the others! You can't. I... You don't get it. Do you know how many of us they killed? Whoa! Hey! Calm down. That was impressive. Uh, you still have aliens that way. Yeah. You... You can kill them? Y yes, we can. But ow! Please, you have to help me find the others. Uh, sure. Great other work what? Out there, Commander, it looks like the weapon everyone was after may be even more valuable than we thought. It may be. Uh, and look, the rating poor. <laughs> Aliens killed. Oh well, can't kill them all every time. Let's get out of here. Solid prospect. Continually impressed by the work of our soldiers. They seem to be extremely efficient. 
They are 7 Sectoid Corpses, 4 Thin Men Corpses, 2 Muton Corpses, 16 Illyrium, 24 Alien Alloys, 30 Weapon Fragments, 10 Mel, 2 Mechtoid Corpses. 100 Credits. You safely recovered Annette Duran for both Exalt and the Aliens. Debrief her and see if we can locate them as well. Certainly she has expressed interest in training as an XCOM operative. Oh, huh, okay. That's cool. There may be more civilians of interest in the invader's custody. Well, we need to get rid of them. Not the civilians, the aliens, and rescue the civilians. Remember, we will be watching. We will be watching. This captive we recovered from the aliens, Annette, was apparently passed off to them by the Exalt organization. So far, she's been less than forthcoming about how she wound up in their control, or what makes her so valuable that they'd pursue her to this extent. Whatever the case, we need to keep a close eye on her. Huh? Agreed. Well, soon she'll be able to see just what we do to Exalt. And that she doesn't like them either. Oh, hey! Sergeant Annette Duran. Okay, well, starts off as a sergeant. That's kind of cool. And she's an assault. That's pretty neat. Uh, you get run and gun. Tactical sense. First standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not con co cost an action. Boy, really liking up close and personal. More and more. Um, I like lightning reflexes just causing that first shot to miss. But we're going to go close and personal. You can have carapace armor, a laser rifle. We have spare nanofiber, spare nanofiber vest, you can have that, just in case. There you go, that works for now. Okay, well that was interesting. Let's see. Got the weapon fragments for improved pistol three. But again, I'm gonna save up weapon fragments. Okay, can we get to the hyperwave relay, please? There's the firestorm that's done. Okay. You need a plasma cannon. You need a plasma cannon. You're done in nine days. Hyperwave uplink online. Hyperwave relay construction complete. 35 credits and two alloys. Now, the only thing we need to do now is scan with the hyperwave relay. Yeah, sure. There we go. Stop. Now that we are in control of the hyperwave beacon, the real question is, what is it going to tell us? Perhaps we should try scanning for UFO activity in the meantime. Agreed. But... Hanger. We need to start transferring these out. So... Uh, to Asia, we'll transfer this one to North America because both of their interceptors are down. There we go. Now with that, we can make some more firestorms. Yeah, we only have enough room for two more. That'll take another 14 days, but we'll have them. There we go. Alright, plasma rifles are almost done. Oh, like plasma rifles are done. In addition to manufacturing our own plasma rifles, our soldiers should be able to use any that they recover from the battlefield. 
plasma rifle available for manufacture. It took an extensive effort by the research team to reduce the considerable mass of the larger alien plasma rifle. By replacing the outer frame components with composite materials, we've managed to substantially reduce the weight without compromising the weapon's power output or accuracy. These reductions did coincide with the added heft of a larger power supply, but we still managed to net an overall reduction of several kilograms. The substantial increases this substantially increases the substantial increases in fire rate, firing rate and overall damage output versus our other prototype variants also required some additional modifications to the integrated Illyrian power cell. The end result of this work is a highly advanced mobile plasma excuse me plasma discharge weapon that improves on nearly all aspects of the conventional X9 rifle. I believe the engineering team is now on standby to pr begin production of this weapon at your discretion. Any alien rifles recovered from the field can also be modified for our own use following the techniques we've developed. Plasma Rifle This modified assault rifle fires a jet of ionized gas through a focused magnetic field, an extremely effective plasma based weapon. Which leads us to more plasma weapons we can we can get, such as the Plasma Sniper. 10 Illyrium, 10 Alloys, 50 Weapon Fragments. Our continued research into the alien's plasma weaponry has finally uncovered a fault in the design. The plasma bolt itself begins to dissipate at extreme range. We have several theories of how the, this issue might be overcome, and if successful, the result would be a sniper rifle of unparalleled power. There's the Alloy Cannon. The density of the alien alloys we've been studying has precluded the use of ammunition. All of our experiments have resulted in the destruction of the weapon itself during firing tests, as the alloys tear the barrel apart. However, we've devised a way to break the alloys into micro shards by using the magnetic containment field derived from the alien plasma weapons. Should allow for their safe discharge. This is a shotgun! <laughs> yeah, it's not a plasma shotgun, it's an alloy shotgun. Think of, instead of using Buckshot, for example, you're using the alien alloys as the, as the fragments. And then there's the heavy plasma. Despite the number of impressive advances, I'm still in awe of the alien's mastery of plasma-based weapons. This particular configuration seems to contain an even more complex magnetic plasma containment chamber, allowing for nearly continuous projection of plasma blast. The heat dispersal systems will permit mech-scale energy projection weapons as well. So, sniper rifle, shotgun, heavy, you know, uh, LMG, plus mech. Uh, all are good. I want them all. However, we're going to start with the plasma sniper rifle. How many... This is the this is the important question. How many weapon fragments do we have left now? Just 17. Of course, it would bite me that I didn't get all of those uh, weapon fragments. I hate how weapon fragments just become so difficult. <sighs> That's why I can't really get everything in the foundry I want. I want alien grenades. I want the improved pistol three, but they take so many weapon fragments. And remember, you don't get weapon fragments if you use explosives. Which I've been using quite a bit lately. Keep all of that in mind. But we're going to have... Uh, plasma... Rifles and... Uh, plasma sniper rifles. So, speaking of... We should have to... Oh, we just have one. The plasma rifle... Remember, the light plasma rifle acts like our laser. It does get plus 10 to aim, but 4 to 6, 10, 8 to 10. The plasma rifle is 6 to 8, 10 critical chance, and if it does crit, 11 to 13. The plasma rifle is pretty strong. Highly efficient and deadly primary weapon. This is the strongest rifle we're going to get. At least it was an XCOM enemy unknown. You're an enemy within? Who knows? We may find something else. But... The plasma rifle, plasma rifle is indeed very deadly. Because Good Dreams has had the has had the light plasma rifle, we're gonna give the first plasma rifle to Dark Fox. Here we go. 
I like the design of it. it does look pretty cool. Again, very dangerous. This is a pretty big different difference in output from the laser rifle. Being able to have that minimum six damage and then go to eight. If you max the damage out on a on a shot, a muton dies. Having that one hit potential against a muton is big. Okay, there's all of that. Something else I'm gonna do. Where is the plasma pistol? Because I've been moving uh, good dreams around quite a bit. Or, no, sorry, good dreams. I've been mo moving Cogtran around quite a bit. Be nice for him to have a plasma pistol to use. Okay. Good. There's that. We'll need another plasma rifle. How much do they cost? Plasma rifle costs 123 credits, 12 valerium, 18 alloys, 20 engineers. The credit cost of all plasma weapons is really... It, 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 they're expensive. They really are. So, keep that in mind. We're going to make one. Bye, Muton. Cardboard cutout thingy. <laughs> See, instead of a sectoid, we show a Muton. There's a reason for that. Because <laughs> of what I explained. Okay. And we'll give this to Good Dreams. That's why I really didn't want to make light plasma rifles because I knew this was coming down the pipe soon. Like right after that light plasma rifle, you're gonna have you know plasma rifles able to be researched. And yes, you don't have the plus ten aim like the light plasma rifle, but with the plasma rifle, that's that's a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. Covert operation. Which will be next. So, we'll do that next time. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Had a lot of fun. I'm Sidray9. Remember to shoot for the stars. And take care, everyone.